Grumble, grumble. All right. We are back to our Tanaris Adventures campaign. Sure. And this time we have a special guest joining us. Yeah. My daughter, Grumpy Girl, is here. She's going to be rolling dice for me and making all <laughs> sorts of weird noises and coughing. And it's going to be awesome. But she wanted to play a board game and... I want to play Tanaris, so that's how we ended up here. <laughs> um, you'll see I've made some adjustments to the board as well. I recently discovered a new product called Adventure Terrain Tiles. And so I bought a set of pure, like, kind of orangey lava that I'm using to represent all of the spike traps basically because in this game spikes and lava operate the same way and so there's kind of no difference i i did have enough spike tracks traps to build one small one right there but other than that i'm using this lava to represent the 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 damage areas and uh i had the idea of building these little lips around them with my Warlock terrain tiles, which um, I'm pretty happy with. I think looks pretty cool. Adds some elevation, and it it makes these these lava tiles sit down a little bit, which looks real cool. Which looks really cool to me. So, continue to experiment with the 3D terrain here. But my little daughter here, you're here to roll some dice, aren't you? Mm. So we better get started, huh? We are. Oh, one thing that I need to do. Since I still don't have my board, I still do not have my board, and I need a better way of tracking health than um, a piece of paper. So I recently downloaded this app. Uh, I can't even remember what it's called. Um, Count, it's just called Counter on my new iPad that I bought here. And uh, I'm gonna use this. this. What I like about it is that it's really easy to hide things so that you don't have to delete them. You can use them again in the future. So, you know, like if, uh, if I'm facing zombies again in the future, I don't have to remake the, the kind of card here. I can, um, I can just hide anything that I'm not using. But I've got all my heroes on here, and all I need to do is input my values. Ooh, so all right, you ready to start doing some fun stuff? Mm -hmm. Okay, well, it's time to start rolling dice here. So, I've been thinking about my strategy, and I think what I wanna do is knock off these two Reapers first. This guy is very powerful but he's not so powerful that I don't benefit more from killing two guys, potentially, especially if I can have a chance at one-shotting these guys. So I'm going to want to bust out some powerful attacks and mess some dudes up, I think. Yeah, giant form might be good. I need to look who can do damage on my turn to my enemies. Because that's another thing I want to do, is use as much magic as I can. Yeah. Do you want to go upstairs? No. Do you want me to turn this off? Yeah. The video that I'm recording. Yeah. Okay, well... If you want to play the game, then this is the price. Yeah, the bruiser can do 10 damage. The brute could do 7 if he, if he had any mana. So what I need is somebody who could potentially do 25 damage. I don't know that I have that. And then I could one-shot one of these guys. She's got 22, but she also has her bonus. She could actually do it. 
yeah, oxygen siphon. All she has to do is be within three when she casts it. She gets a benefit of plus three to attack roll if she's closest to the target. Might be able to move her. I know. Might be able to move her and have that happen. Yeah, so why don't we... I would move her. Just have her go. One, two. Now she's adjacent. We're gonna target the orange guy. She's gonna cast Oxygen Siphon. So Eleanor, you need to roll this die. And you need a five or better. Okay, throw it into that little container right there. I don't know if that really counted as a roll, sweetie. Well, you just kind of dropped it. Here, let me show you. Open your hand. Don't grab the dice. Just let it sit. You gotta shake your hand and then throw it out hard. There you go. Good job. She got 13. And the bruiser is activating her magic. So she's paying 10 hit points to do 10 hit points. So let's figure out kind of the order of operations here. Nariel's taking 10 damage down to 26. But she's doing 10 damage to the Orange Reaper, taking him down to 25. She's also doing 10 damage to the Kemet Shield because she used some mana. Nyx is doing 22 damage with that hit. She also gets to pick an enemy. It ignores all its helpful conditions and takes three damage at the end of all of its turn. I'm gonna put that on to that guy. And so she's doing 22 plus 5, which means that she kill, she outright kills the Orange Reaper. You did it! Good job, sweetie. You got this guy. Here, now you can look at him. <laughs> you did a good job. Whatever gets killed, I get in the back. Yeah, sure. So... That's Nix's turn. And no reaction from the bad guy because we haven't we haven't triggered one yet. Of course we're only gonna be able to play that card once. I'm just really not gonna The brute had some mana, he could help out with that. So that's it for Nyx. Next up, uh, and that's probably all we're gonna get in terms of like a one shot, and I'm pretty happy with that. So, I think next I'm just going to do some damage to this green guy. When the green guy activates, hey, hey, come on. You gotta help me make my video. You can't, you cannot, um, you cannot hurt the video. You don't wanna hurt the video, do you? Oh yeah, and oxygen sites, but yeah, I put that on him. Targets the hero with the most mana. This guy really is kinda weak. Still. Yeah, I'm gonna just do the shipwreck blow. I'm gonna activate Herodotus. All right, Eleanor, you gotta roll this red die. 
And remember, you got to roll it real good into this. There you go. Oh, she got a 20, a natural 20. Okay. So that's plus five damage on that. Herodotus. Oops. No ally is in one of the target. That does not activate because an Ariel is within one. But he does five damage because of the crit. The ability does 10 damage. And the effect deals six damage to another enemy, which is going to be the red zombie. That is not bad. He also has the benefit of moving three, but I don't think I want to do that at the moment. All right, so that Green Reaper is down to 20, but he is activating now, so this guy's gonna try and get us. I wish to have Oh, you You're a little too violent, my dear. You're very violent. Okay, so he's targeting the hero with the most mana. He's only got a range of one. That means that he's targeting either Yemi or Nyx. Nyx is closer, so he's just going to sidestep to here so that he doesn't take reaction damage. And then he's going to target Nyx. He is going to do, if he hits, he's going to do 14 damage. So roll this die. It's a green die. It's a special green die. Remember, roll it real quick. What did you get? What number is that? You got a 10. Okay, so you hit Nyx. <laughs> so you do 14 damage to Nyx. 14? Did I No, but Nyx is one of our heroes. You don't want to do damage to her. Um, he doesn't have the unprovoked bonus. He didn't crit. The enemy with the highest HP wow. gains an empowered 3 token. Hey. Stop dragging stuff on this, okay? That comes up on the audio. Do it on here. There you go. And that is it for the green guy. Next up, it's my turn. I've got Yemi and... Anaria left. Deal plus two damage per other combatant within one of you. Well, that's good. That she could do fourteen damage with that. Sword of sigils, eleven damage plus effects. You are protected. An ally swaps places with an enemy. Yeah, she's going to do dimensional strike. Here's some more. Benefit, you move to ignoring terrains. So, she's gonna move here. And because that's not a movement action, it does not trigger a reaction. Elmer, you, you have to go upstairs by yourself if you're gonna talk. No more talking until I tell you to, okay? Yeah, and she's doing 12 damage. If she hits, so roll this die. The golden die, yeah. 
Roll it real nice. No, that is not a roll. You have to let it fall out of your hand and bounce around. Do it with your... Yeah, there you go. Okay, she rolls a 14. Good job. You did it. A 14 is a hit. So, she's activating... Oh, and roll it again for me. One more time. Other hand. You'd be better rolling with the other hand. Good job. Another hit. All right. So, because of Flames of Justice, she gets to roll twice and she heals four if both hit. So, she heals up four. Her passive, at the start of your turn, there's at least one enemy within two of you. An enemy within two of you takes five hits. She's doing that five damage to that Reaper. Taking him down to 15. Dimensional Strike does 12 damage. Taking him down to three. And then it has effect. It deal plus two damage per other combatant within one of you, a max four damage. So she does another two damage to him. So close to killing him. He's down to one. Johnny Green guy. And she flips that because she has now done that. Now he's already activated, so she does not trigger a reaction from him, which means it's my turn again, which means Yemi's get a shot at finishing him off. She's going to do, Yemi's going to do Fatal Kiss. Let's see what her passive is again. Target is in four of you, first hit of your turn. Okay, so finally that's actually going to activate because her target's going to be him. So that's, on, that's in play. Roll this for me. Good job. Rolled a so a six or a nine. That's a nine, actually. She rolled a nine. This guy's defense is five. So you hit him. You did it. <laughs> you silly bean. Uh, so she does. First of all, her passive power triggers. A hero charges two skill tokens. I am going to choose Anario to do so. These two, not that one. Let's charge those two. Then her attack hits, does nine damage to the red guy. The effect triggers, another enemy takes damage equal to half your natural roll, round up. So that would be five damage, which kills the other Reaper. And so he's gone. And that guy is the only one left on the board. Now that triggers the bad guy wants to fight us now because we hurt him. So we gotta have we gotta have him attack. Okay, so now the zombie is going to attack. This zombie is going to try to hurt us, Eleanor. There's another guy here. You he beat him up, too. Targeting the hero with the most HP. At the moment, that is Yemi. He can't get there. He has to move to get there. So, and he's going to take the most direct route. Yeah, 
really doesn't matter. He's going to go one, two, which means he's going to take eight damage from Herodotus and for a reaction. And he's going to take... How much damage does the lava do, Eleanor? I don't know. Yeah, he's going to remember. Yeah. Four damage if you enter or finish your turn. He's going to take four damage from the lava. And now he gets to activate. So he's doing his attack. Roll this die for me, please, sweetheart. That is not a roll, sweetie. You gotta have it bouncing around. You gotta throw it. Oh, that's better than nothing. Um, boop, 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 boop. She rolled a six, which is the same as Yummy's defense, and I don't believe I have any way of. Fixing that. Although Nyx could protect her. She's gonna pay the protector and let's see what that does. Let's see what that does, okay? What do you think? Can we stop this guy from hitting us? Plus 3D defense against enemies. Yeah, so by doing that, not only does she do another 10 damage to the shield, taking it down to 19, she also increases her defense up to 9, which means this guy misses. So he does his residual damage. He wasn't unprovoked. He does 10 damage to Yemi. And... He doesn't get his effect, he doesn't get his passive power, and he takes three damage because of oxygen siphon. Well, that really couldn't have gone any better. Good job. Oh, he was empowered three, though. Wait, excuse me. That just does plus three attack damage. So... Mm, it's unclear to me how that works in terms of residual damage. I'll, I'll just take the, da the three damage. Now he loses that. And that is the end of our round. Everybody has activated. So we will pick this up again, move into the next round, and try and finish this guy off.